In 2020, Glee actor Darren Chris and his newlywed wife decided to move on from their Los Feliz starter home to their current crib. Lucky for Darren, buyers were very interested in his former home, selling in a bidding war for over 100 k over asking. His new home is located in Hollywood Hills, Los Angeles, and it's a contemporary, family-sized affair which cost him $3 million. And in this video, we'll check them out. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Darren Chris is an actor, singer, and more who rose to fame starring on the series series Glee and is well known for his lead role on the assassination for Gianni Versace, American Crime Story. In 2019, he married his longtime girlfriend Mia Swear, and that same year, he used his $5 million net worth to snag them a new love nest in the Hollywood Hills. This property is in a celeb-filled and leafy neighborhood with high hedges for plenty of privacy, and it's a huge upgrade from Darren's former house clocking in at over double the size. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one seeing where Darren Chris calls home. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. When Darren put his starter home up for sale in 2020, I doubt he knew it would be in such high demand. However, the home found a buyer in just over a month, in a bidding war no less. The new owner of the home is a Canadian DJ and record producer known as Frank Dukes, who's behind some of the biggest hit songs, and he spent $1.8 million on Darren's former cottage-like home, about 100 k over asking. Records show that Darren snagged his starter home back in 2012 for $1.2 million, and it's located in the trendy neighborhood of Los Feliz in Los Angeles. The mid-century home had been upgraded in recent years and it spanned 1,700 square feet of space within a single level. While the home is modest by Hollywood standards, there were also three beds, two baths, and plenty of the cool original features from the 1950s, including the covered carport out front. Walking in the red front door, Darren's former home had an open plan layout, including a large living room with high beam ceilings and skylights, made of white wood to match the wall. This was contrasted with the dark hardwood underfoot, while on one side of the living room there was a stacked stone fireplace taking up most of the wall. Other features here included a mounted TV, glass sliders to outside, and a dining table to one side. The compact kitchen was still stylish and made up of period suitable chocolate brown cabinets mixed with stainless steel appliances, and the skylights throughout the home also made sure common areas were full of natural lights. In Darren's former home, both the master and guest bedrooms opened right up to the yard through French doors, which was a charming bonus. Then, the marble bathroom had luxe features like a large glass shower. The additional guest bedroom was transformed into a studio or lounge space with pale wood walls, more skylights, and doors to outside. The home was secured with cameras and a gate out front, while the backyard was also private. A wall of bamboo hid the grounds from the neighbors, while also providing a tropical park-style atmosphere. Within this outdoor space, there was a covered patio with room to dine, a fresh lawn, and a kidney-shaped swimming pool. In 2019, Darren and his wife moved on to their current home, a sizable upgrade from the spot we just looked at, located in the Hollywood Hills. The modern and spacious estate cost the actor just over $3 million, and the Hollywood neighborhood it's located in is a celebrity fave with other residents including Danny Masterson, Aubrey Plaza, Colin Hanks, and much more. This section of the canyon is also quiet, private, and full of tree-lined streets and greenery. Darren's family-sized property is hidden behind a hedge and gates for security, while the house itself has been thoroughly renovated, now boasting a slightly contemporary style. The entry the freeway offers a large stone pillar and steps to the front door. While walking in, you're welcomed into an open space with winding staircase and natural lights. Darren's current crib is much larger than his last one, spanning nearly 
700 square feet of space with three beds and 3.5 baths. If I'm not mistaken, that's like triple the size. There's not too much of a foyer, but there are high ceilings. And to the left of the stairs, or to one side of the stairs, there's a spacious common area combining a few sitting nooks and a dining room table. There's a plush living room on one side with a double height modern fireplace and a semicircular lounge tucked in a corner. The perfect space for curling up with a good book. The interior spaces in Darren's home offer large windows and some glass sliders such as near the dining room, and light wooden floors underfoot. Upgraded bonuses include automatic window shades, security and sound systems, and much more. Aside from the massive loft-like living area elsewhere, there's a gourmet kitchen that has way more to offer than the one in Darren's old place. One section of the kitchen features all the premium stainless steel appliances one could dream of with a massive designer fridge, multiple up ovens, cabinet space, and more. Not to mention the sleek kitchen carries onto a separate eating area where the stove is located. And here it also offers a massive snack bar island situation. This attaches to yet another den with TV and space to unwind on one of the luxe sofas. Darren's current home is full of surprises considering what was once likely a garage was transformed into something even cooler. All of that space is now utilized into not only your run of the mill laundry room, but also a mirrored home gym stacked with equipment and a cozy movie theater with red walls and projection system for those traditional movie vibes. All of the modern bedrooms here look pretty inviting, including one guest room with a custom walk-in closet, both offering luxurious attached baths. Darren's master retreat definitely takes the cake though. Here, you'll find not only cozy sleeping quarters, but a gas fireplace and mounted TV set into the angled wall near the bed, as well as a sitting lounge built into a wall of windows. There are also double walk-in closets, one for Darren and one for his wife, I'm guessing, a glamorous bathroom with soaking tub, fireplace, and glass shower, and their very own private terrace. Outside, the backyard was built into the Hollywood hillside and most of the grounds are shaded by trees. There are some wraparound terraces, all which lead to the back of the home that boasts a playground for kids, a shaded alfresco terrace with built-in booth seating, and a useful outdoor kitchen and barbecue space. There's also some fancy string lights for good measure. Elsewhere, you'll find a cozy covered poolside lounge that would be perfect for entertaining or hangouts, as well as the large swimming pool with built-in spa. Well, I guess that's it for the homes of actor Darren Chris. What did you think about his Los Angeles properties? My guess is that he'll be in his current Hollywood home for quite some time. There's plenty of space for growing a family, or if that's not his thing, he and his wife will be able to make some great memories spending time with one another or entertaining friends and family. Out of the two homes, his starter house in Los Feliz and his newest property, which was more your style. I think that both were stylish and welcoming. I'd be pleased to live in either, but I no doubt love his current place the most. I love the backyard because it looks like a paradise with all of the trees shading it and the beautiful pool. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Darren's homes in the comments down below because I love hearing from you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should feature next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.